So this method is super effective for getting new followers excited to show you how. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you the fastest way to get 5,000 real TikTok followers in less than 24 hours with a brand new account. The best part about this method is it's not some sort of sketchy method that may or may not work in the future. This is something that actually TikTok kind of uh, encourages people to go through and do. And I'll explain that here in just a minute. Now, chances are, if you are on this video, you are looking to get 5,000 followers for a very specific reason. You're wanting to get into the TikTok affiliate program. If you aren't familiar, getting 5,000 followers is a requirement in order to get accepted into the TikTok affiliate program. It's one of the things that keeps a lot of people out of the program. And because of that barrier, there were a couple of loopholes that did exist where people go through and create like a TikTok seller account and get into the program without 5,000 followers. I actually created a whole video on this. And it's a method that I am getting a lot of DMs and comments saying that this method no longer is as reliable. It's working for some people and it's not working for others. So I wanted to give people another option to go through and get 5,000 followers very quickly. And of course, the most obvious way is to just post content and grow your, your following organically to 5,000 followers. And I think that is a great method. And if that works for you, that's totally awesome. I've done that with multiple accounts and it works. It just takes a little bit more time. So if you wanted to go through and just post content organically and wait to get those 5,000 followers, more power to you, that's awesome. This video is for people who are wanting to get those followers fast. And how we are gonna be getting those followers is we are actually going to be buying followers. Now, before you think you hear that and you think it's kind of sketch because it, it can be sketch if you do it the wrong way. There are two different ways to buy TikTok followers. The first method is to come here to Google, type in buy TikTok followers and go to one of these websites and just purchase basically 5,000 bots or 5,000 people uh, for your TikTok account. Now I can tell you that is the wrong way to go about doing this. You will go through your tick, your account will show 5,000 followers, but TikTok is very smart. I've heard of people trying to do this and they do not get into the program. TikTok knows when you actually go through and buy these bot followers. So I don't recommend this at all. The other method that I'm going to be recommended is something, as I mentioned, is something that TikTok actually encourages. And that is to actually go through and run TikTok ads that are optimized to get you followers. And I know as soon as I say that, a bunch of you are going to have some sort of reservation on that. You're thinking either it's gonna to be too expensive, too hard, or I don't wanna go through and actually do the effort. But let me, before you jump off, let me explain. First of all, it's probably cheaper than you think. Second, I'm gonna show you some ways that you can possibly claim some TikTok ad credits to make the process even cheaper. And third, when you look at the earning potential with the TikTok affiliate program, in my in my view, this is a small investment or a small price to pay to or in order to make thousands or tens of thousands of dollars. So take that for what it's worth. I'm gonna be breaking down the entire cost and how much you can expect to spend to get uh, 5,000 followers. I'm gonna go into the account and show you how to do everything step by step. So let's jump right in. So what we're gonna be covering in this process is basically five steps. There's five steps to get this process working and in less than 24 hours, you can have 5,000 followers. The first step is to actually go through and create a TikTok account. I'm not gonna walk through this in this video because I think most people know how to create a TikTok account. Just go to tiktok.com, create your account or download the app and then create your account. The next thing that we're gonna to wanna to do is make a video and post it to that TikTok. Yes, this is gonna require a little bit of work, but if you are having a hesitation just posting one video onto a TikTok account, then chances are the TikTok affiliate program probably isn't gonna be successful for you anyways. So uh, take that for what it's worth. So we are gonna post one video, but don't worry, I'm gonna show you a very easy template that you can follow that is uh, a good high chance that you are going to get followers with this method. And it's very easy to follow. I'll, I'll show you how to do that in just a minute. The third step is go through and create a TikTok ads account, which I'll show you how to do that. And also when you're creating that TikTok ads account, how to claim specific credits. Then we're gonna go through and link your TikTok ads account to your TikTok account and then run the campaign. So I'm going to start with this spot right here, how to make a video, I'll give you a very easy template to go through uh, to make for your first video. Now, keep in mind, we are running this for a TikTok affiliate account. So there's two different things that you can do. So like I said, there are two different ways you can approach your first video is one, you can actually make a video about the content that you're going to be creating once you get into the affiliate program. Uh, what I mean by this is taking just a random object in your house, something preferably that has like a viral element to it and creating an actual video and getting practice on creating that video. Now, of course, you're not gonna be able to tag the product or get paid commissions on this, but at least when people are following, they know exactly what they are following the account for. In my opinion, this is the better method, but it's a little bit harder because you actually have to have some thought and some uh, creativity to go through and create the video. 
or the second method, which is a faster way and probably a, a cheaper way to get followers uh, that you can go through and do, but I think in the long run might be less effective for your account is to go and create a video idea, something like this. So I saw this video and I thought that this would be perfect for this program. Basically go through and create a five crazy facts about blank. And you don't even have to really create a video if you don't want to. You can see in this example, let me go through and move this over. Uh, this person just goes through and they have a slideshow that talks about all these different things inside of Costco. Basically like five crazy facts about Costco. Now she has a great hook because she talks about how she was like terminated or something like that. You don't necessarily have to go that route and you don't have to show your face. You just need some sort of slide that says five crazy facts about Costco. And then you can go through. And then at the end here, she has, if you want more secrets, comment Costco. But what I would recommend is at the end here, this last slide comment or, or do a, a caption that says follow for more. And then all you have to do is create this one video. You can get your account up to 5,000 followers. And then if you wanted to, you could delete this video, um, whatever you wanted to do. But like I said, I prefer to go with a video that's actually about that account. And that's what I do in this example. And I'll show you kind of how that played out for me. Um, but just wanted to give you those, both those options. Now, if you're one of those people who's watching this video and is like, well, I don't know if five crazy facts about, uh, these kind of things, just go to chat GP, chat GPT, type in, uh, five, let me exit all that. Um, type in, give me five viral facts about Costco. Here's five, five, five viral facts about Costco. If you don't want to do Costco, you could do Disneyland. You could do any sort of big company. Just type that in. Give me five fa facts about Disneyland. It spits those out. And then you can go through and put that in a TikTok. Now, once you have that TikTok, remember, go back to our steps here. Um, and you have your account created, go through and just post that, that TikTok to your account. Just post it as you normally would like a normal TikTok. And what we're going to do is we're going to take that TikTok and run it as what's called a spark ad. And in order to do that, we need to create a TikTok ads account. Now, in order to create a TikTok ads account, there's a link down below in the description. And this is where I can actually get you some sort of ad credit. TikTok's always running all sorts of different ad credits. So I don't know what it will be when you are watching this video. Um, but right now there is one going on. So you can go through and click that link down below. And what this will do is if you spend a certain amount, TikTok will give you a free ad credit um, based on where you are located. So uh, go through and sign up for a TikTok ads account. Use that link so that you can get some sort of ad credit to make this process even cheaper possibly. Now, once you've gone through and created your TikTok ads account, don't worry, it's a really easy process. Once you click that button, it'll walk you through the entire step, uh, step process. It will take you to a view that looks something like this. Now, this is TikTok's ads manager, and it's gonna take you to a view where it's going to ask you to immediately start uh, uh, choosing your advertising objective. Now, before we do this, it's important that we, we finish step three first. And if we look back here, step three is to link our TikTok account to our TikTok ads account. So when it drops you into this view right here, what I want you to do is come over to this top little button bubble right here, click on that user settings. And then once you get to the user settings, you're going to see right here, if you created your TikTok ads account with your TikTok account, it will automatically be linked here. If not, if you created your TikTok ads account through Gmail or through uh, the Google login, then you're going to want to go through and link your TikTok ad TikTok account here. You just click this button. It'll ask for a QR code that you scan it and then you're connected really easy to do. So before you start running your campaign, make sure that these are linked. So now we have successfully done step one, two, three, and four. The last step is to actually go through and run step five. In order to do that, we're going to come back over here to uh, TikTok and we want to choose this community interaction. And you can see this is literally the whole point of this is to get more interaction on your TikTok account, more followers, visitors, or promote a live stream. This is something that TikTok wants you to do because obviously you're going to pay money and they make more money. So it is something that they encourage. So we're going to click on this objective right here. This community name, you can name this whatever you want. You can call it like follow campaign or whatever. We're just going to call it follow here. These, you don't need to worry about any of these settings right here. We're going to hit continue. And then here it's going to ask, uh, it's going to drop us into what's called the ad group level placements. We want the TikTok placements. That's totally fine for the audiences. You want to leave this as broad as possible because TikTok is really good at targeting. They're going to find people who are likely to follow your account. The one thing that I would recommend you change here, depending on your preference is the location. So as a lot of you may or may not know you, the United States is by far the most uh, expensive place to advertise. So keep that in mind when you're choosing your location. The, if you are only wanting to target people in the United States, then your cost per follow is going to be dramatically higher. If you target locations outside of the United States, you can get a cost per follow dramatically lower and you can get 5,000 followers basically cheaper. And when it comes to getting into the affiliate program, they don't care where the followers are from. You just need 5,000 5, real followers. So if you are curious what the cheapest places to target are, when I ran uh, my test, this is what it came down to. So the cheapest places to get followers is Qatar, South Africa, Turkey, and Kuwait. You can see the cost per follow in these areas 
is less than three cents. That means for $150, you can actually go through and get those 5,000 followers if you're targeting those areas. If you're curious what my cost per follow for the United States ended up being, it was closer to 89 cents. So that uh, dramatically increases the cost if you're wanting to do this just in the United States. But if you're wanting to get it as cheap as possible, I would recommend these four countries. If you wanted to tar target all the other countries like I did and then consolidate from there, uh, based on your testing, you can go through and do that. I'll show you how to find this data for yourself later on in the video. So if I wanted to change those locations, I could just exit out of the United States here. And then here it will give you this drop down, And that's where you can go through and, and uh, target some of these areas that are a little bit more affordable to go through and buy those followers. Like I said, leave all of this the exact same as it is. Leave it all blank down here. Um, this is where you're going to set the budget. Now, if you're wanting to accomplish this in less than 24 hours, then I would set your lifetime budget or your daily budget at $150 a day. If you set a daily budget, make sure that you set a, a time stop so that it, it starts and ends after 24 hours here. Um, if you wanted to uh, go a little bit slower and maybe run like $20 a day and then look at the country data to see where you're getting the, the cheapest cost per lead and then change your location targeting based on that, you could do it that way as well. It just is up to your personal preference. So you can do this as fast or as slow as you want. Just know it's gonna cost around $150 um, uh, to get those 5,000 followers. So, so now we're going to scroll down here. And then this is where we want to make sure the optimization goal, this is important. The default should be follow, but make sure that it is on follow. We don't want page visits. We want followers. And then the cost cap, you can play around with this for yourself, but I put this at 0.2 to start with. And then I gradually went through and lowered it as time went on. Uh, totally up to you on how you want to say that, but 20 cents is a good place to start. You should be well below that. If you're getting, if you're getting follows in those other countries above anywhere between like five cents, then chances are you need to look at your ad and see if you can adjust something inside of there and get like a better converting ad. So then we're going to go through and hit continue here. And this is important in this step. This is the ad step. And you can see right here, TikTok is automatically pulling in my TikTok account. And that is because we went through and connected connected it up here in the top right hand corner. If you don't see your TikTok ads account at this point, make sure that this TikTok Spark ad thing is on and make sure that you have, you go and check this account setting to make sure that everything's connected there. What that's gonna allow us to do is to take any post from this account and run it as an ad. So we can go through and grab a TikTok post here. It's gonna scroll these up and you can see for mine, the one that I did, and I'll show you the data after running this actual thing, you can hit continue here, is I actually did a video of an, a product and I just didn't link the product. It was just like a normal kind of video. And then I went through and ran that as an ad. So it's gonna pull in all the data there. It's gonna pull in the text already. You don't need to worry about any of these. You want to check this box to confirm that you have the rights to the music. This is one thing that's important to note that I probably should have mentioned before when you were creating the, the video. Be sure to create the video either uh, with with no sound or with commercial use sound. Uh, be sure to f check that little box and make sure that your uh, audio is commercial use. Because if it's not commercial use, then it could be taken down uh, when you actually do run the ad. So you wanna check that box, you wanna make sure this box is unchecked, and then you can go through and actually publish this uh, video. Now, after you publish the video, it will ask you to go through and put in your credit card information. So be sure to go through and do that. And then typically it will take around 24 hours for your ad account to get approved and for the ad to get approved. So don't be worried. You'll see a little red box there that says like not delivered yet uh, under review. Once that gets approved, then you can go, it'll go through and start spending that budget, whatever you went through and sent. Now I want to show you my results from this test. So you can see that this does actually work. Okay, so this is what it will look like when you start actually running the campaign. You'll have the campaign level here and you can click inside of this. So I created two ad groups, one for all the other countries and one for US, uh, just to show you the data on what this actually ends up looking like. So you can see I spent $40 in the US and as I mentioned before and I showed you the data, my cost per follow was 89 cents. All the other countries were three, three uh, cents per follow. You can see so far I've spent $71 and $40 inside of here. And when we go through and actually look at my TikTok account here are actually uh, coming through like in real time. So you can see here, these are actually going on to the account. Uh, when I go through and I click this right here, you can see all the followers they're giving me all sorts of notifications. You see all the notifications of followers coming in on the account right now. So uh, now this account, it started off with 25 for this one. Now I have over 24,000. Here in a couple of days, it will be at that 5,000 mark. If I wanted to scale up the spend, I could have it done here in the next couple of hours, but I've just been kind of using this as a test to see which countries are best for you when you are going through and uh, running this for yourself. Now, if you did want to analyze the data for yourself and see which countries are getting the cheapest follower and go a little bit slower on this, in order to see that, you wanna come over here to custom reports. And then once you're in custom reports, you can uh, create a, a custom report, obviously here, custom report. 
And then from here, you wanna make sure that you have the campaign in this area. Then you wanna go over to the metrics here and you wanna type in follow and then type in paid followers here. And then this will show you, um, oh, oops. And then come over to dimensions and then we are looking for the country targeting here, country region, pull that in there. And then this will give you the data on the country and region and what the follower amount is. Um, so that is how you can go through and find that data. Don't forget to sign up, uh, sign up for your TikTok ads account in the link down below to get the latest ad credits available to make this process maybe even cheaper for you. And we will see you in the next video.